I'm a 154 Fox, that's a Chinook pilot. I'm with the Debt One Bravo Company, first of the 168 out of Pendleton, Oregon. Myself and some of the rest of the flight platoon from Bravo Company out of Pendleton are here at NTC along with uh, Blackhawks and Apaches from various other guard states to support three of the 116th Cav out of Idaho in a simulation training exercise. Today we're conducting environmental trainings or dust landing qualifications for some of our newer pilots and crew members. We do in a day period and then we'll be doing a night period a little later. Specifically, a dust landing or environmental qualification is we're going to expose the new pilots and crew members to a landing from altitude to the ground in an environment where they will lose visual sight of the ground because of the dust. And we're going to train them how to utilize the helicopter's advanced flight control systems to help stabilize it and put us safely on the ground. Out of today's training, I hope to gain uh, exposure and experience uh, for some of our newer guys and a strong refresher for those of us that have done it before but are out of practice. And overall here at NTC, I hope that we get a good exposure to the things that we could be exposed to. It is more real world. This looks a lot like Afghanistan as far as where we're going. And the active duty personnel that are conducting the op four, if you will, the opposing force, they have that new mindset in mind. So it will help us in our transition. The biggest challenge currently for us as pilots and crew members uh, is the environment. Uh, we're operating this first week in what we call a red loom, so the moon is not up, and uh, there is no man-made lights within 50 miles of the National Training Center, and it has been some time since we operated in that kind of condition, so that'll be the most challenging thing for us over here. For the scenario, our training is really going to focus on logistical movement. You can see us during the daytime moving parts to support the warfighter. Because the real, the real person being evaluated here, the real unit, is the 3 of the 116th. And we're going to support them, like I said, with the logistics movements. And then during the night period time, we'll be doing some infills, some larger troop movement. So that'll be the training exposure we'll get for ourselves. Looking most forward to here at NTC uh, will be just a good experience and exposure for all the guys. Uh, make sure everybody completes the training safely and then so we can get home.